For those of you who haven't seen it, Thinking with Time Machine is essentially Portal 2 co-op, but you control both characters. Oh, that's interesting. I actually didn't know that. Well, I think I have a game I can continue since I technically started a game before, but I never got anywhere, so we'll start a new game. I actually don't know how to play this, so, for all intents and purposes, this is blind. I don't remember this, but then again, I think it was like, <clears throat> was it a couple years since I launched this last? Remember at one point, I was considering a, considering doing a blind Let's Play of Thinking with Time Machine, but that's a hard decision to make because it's blind. I don't know how good it is. But yeah, 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 this is the end of Portal 2. With a twist. The outside was fake. Good grief, why is the volume so loud? I didn't know I had my headphones that loud. Good grief, it's hurting my ears. Are we moving now? Okay, now I don't hear anything. No music. But, uh, <clears throat> okay. Fine. Yeah, there's no sound for me either. Except the jumping sound. That's making a sound at the moment. And I, I really hope this is not a graphics glitch, because it looks freaking ugly. Yeah, the game has kind of like no sound right now, or no music. It's really weird. Do I have to update my game on Twitch to say Thinking with Time Machine, or is Portal 2 basically the same thing? I, guess I could probably change the title, though. Um, bot. Bot has the dashboard, which is really useful for changing the title. I will change the title to Thinking with Time Machine. That way, if people are browsing Portal 2 streams, they know what to expect when they come onto this one. So that's cool. Yeah, Portal 2 for the game is the correct category. So all I, all I did was change the title. Which may or may not update on your screen. Doesn't matter, it's all good. What do I actually do? Yeah, the title just says Thinking with Time Machine. Nothing super fancy. I could make it say Thinking with Time Machine Blind. But whatever. And I'm not meaning to brag or anything, but it's pretty cool that I have 89 followers on Twitch. I started picking them up when I was streaming, like, several different games. I got a bunch of followers from streaming Donkey Kong 64. I got a few more from Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy. So it seems like the whole, the whole game hopping thing is actually beneficial. So. I don't even have a portal gun right now. That is not a thing that I have. So, I'm just walking around, without a portal gun. At least at the moment. I lied. I now have a portal gun, capable of shooting both portals! Okay, I have a portal gun now, so it's portal. It's not portal without the portal, what the heck? That must be my time machine. I can see my body?! I love it when games do that. The, the only other game that I think actually did this that I know of is Left 4 Dead, like the first Left 4 Dead. You could actually look down and see your legs. So that's really cool. I don't know why more games don't do that. Fascinating. Okay, I have no idea what to do. I think this is where I was messing around the last time I launched the game. You control past Chell with that? Where's past Chell? I don't see her. 
okay. So that is my time machine. I can't turn around to use it because it keeps moving. I need a cube to put on the button. At least that's what I would think. I gotta check my controls. Okay, I'll go to my controls. Probably keyboard. Probably edit keys. R, Q, and F do things, it would appear. F does something, play rec play records. Oh, you want to do like a uh, voice chat in Discord? Yeah, we could do that. Oh, there you are. Hi. Okay, so basically, yeah, you're going to, there's two players, there's two characters that you're controlling. So you've got, you're, right now you're past shell. So if you, pl if you press R, then the next thing you want to do is to go through the motions of what you want Shell to do. Once you've finished doing the motions, pressing buttons, jumping, doing whatever, you can press Q to stop the recording. Then, when you're ready to play the second character, you press F. And the past Shell, she'll do her thing that you taught her how to do originally while you do your thing. So it, it's, it really is co-op, and you're going to take the role of both characters. So my control, my controls are fine, so I can exit this? Yeah, if you're happy with the controls. I just wanted to make sure about the, the time machine, so it's R, Q, and F. All right, so now we know. All right. All right, so there's a button on the floor. What happens when you stand on that? Okay, it, it opens the exit. Yeah, it opens the exit. I've seen that already. Or it opens the door over there. Right, so what you want is, pretend that there's two players here, like uh, Atlas and Peabody. So you're Atlas. You want Peabody to stand on the button so that you can exit. So you're going to teach Shell to stand on the button. So press R. So like press R and then like stand on the button for a bit and then like and then run to the Q. door or something? Right, so press R, stand on the button for five seconds, and then press Q. And I've, I've got 12 seconds behind you, so I'll just watch you do that. Right. Right now, I just saw you standing on the button. You're waiting five seconds, and you're going to press Q. It's okay, so I made it through. Right. I pressed press, F to do the thing. Press F to uh, let, let past Shell do her thing. And if you turn around, you can see her doing her thing. So it's like, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I actually got to see that, so that's cool. It's awesome! So that's the game. You teach your past self what to do first, and then when you're ready, you let her do her thing, and you do your thing. So then you have to time your motions with the motions of your past self. Right. To get through. Oh, boy. You should be able to portal yourself up there somehow. Oh, yeah, like, forgot, I forgot I had a portal gun. Good grief. <laughs> Is there anything in here to portal onto at all? Mm, oh, those aren't portal surfaces? Okay, so those are... Apparently not, it's weird. Interesting. Oh, I know what you can do. You can tell past Shell to stand near a ledge and then jump on her shoulders. Oh, you're kidding. If she crouches, so t teach her to crouch for 10 seconds, and then you can jump on her shoulders. Like a cube. Maybe I wasn't supposed to crouch. It couldn't get up. That's weird. I don't know. Oh. Maybe you're not supposed to... Oh, she has to... Oh, I know what she has to do. She has to stand up after you've jumped on her shoulders. So she crouches... Oh. On her, ...and then she stands up. Okay. <laughs> I love this. Strong, very strong. Past shells. 
Got it. All right. Ten seconds behind you. So, so I'll probably do the same thing again to get up the next one. Probably. Yeah. Makes sense. My first experience with very helpful NPCs was in Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead 2. You, you take care of your NPCs and they will take care of you. Especially because they're incapable of friendly fire. They do okay. They shoot through you, which is annoying because it throws off your aim, but it's better than them knocking you down. Right. Now this one, this room here was good. This is where we actually need cubes and objects and stuff. The cube is making a buzzing sound. That is really weird. Wait, what? It's a manufactured cube. <laughs> I didn't see that field there. Oh, it just came on after you uh, did your thing. Oh, and then there's an emancipation grill just above the surface of the cubes. Yeah. How freaking annoying. There's got to be a way to disable that. Probably one of the floor buttons disables the emancipation grill. So maybe pass shell and stand on that, and then you can put the cube in the receptacle. Hmm. The emancipation grill goes away when I press the button to make the cube get assembled. But then it comes back. So there's two buttons, they both need to be pressed apparently at the same time in order to get out. Oh to really? Activate. Because the exit door, see, there's an ant trail from both buttons to the exit door. Or an ant line. <laughs> it always sounds like it's just saying ant lion from Half-Life 2. Oh yeah. Speaking of Half-Life 2 and Half-Life, I couldn't finish either one. I got stuck. But then again, that's because I refused to look up a guide. I was stubborn. Uh, so definitely both buttons have to be active in order for the exit to open. So Pastel's going to have to stand on one of them. Maybe she has to drop the cube on one. I'm starting to think that Pastel needs to drop the cube on one button and stand on the other, and then I need to replay all that and run to the door. Right. So she's going to drop the cube once and stand on the other one of the of the other sequence and then that lets you so she gets tra shell gets trapped in here while you leave. basically but i guess past shell is magic and, and can teleport from room to room because it's not really a time machine it's kind of something else in my opinion but right because like past shell gets trapped but then she can be used again any time which is weird So I'm thinking maybe Pass Shell to, should do all of this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, see now the where, where I am, the uh, the ant the ant line is orange, all orange. So the exit's open. The problem is that you're up, you're stuck on the wrong side of the portal. So we're gonna teach her. I got it. Nice. I'm watching about. Yeah, I know you're behind, but I'm just letting you know I got it. Oh, she's so good. Thank you, Pashel. Yeah, she does all the work and I run through the door. Which technically it's me doing the work because it is past it's my past self, so I guess it really is a time machine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of yeah, a weird multi dimensional time machine. Oh indeed. Uh, what's cool here is that there's Steam Workshop levels for this game too. So, oh wow! What, once you finish it, there is more. Now, those are portal surfaces that actually have the portal symbol wall. I see. So there's like three of them in this area. I can see that. Could be another one I'm missing. 
Oh yeah, there is, because there's one with a light bridge. I've just now found that. I'm guessing I have to record all that and then do a thing. Right. She'll do all the work for you. She always gets the short end of the stick. I know. <laughs> Left behind. But technically it's me because I'm recording myself. That's the freaky thing. I think I missed a step. That did not work the way I thought it would. That's alright, I'll get it. That also did not work the way I thought it would. Okay. That's creepy, though, to see past Shell, like, right in front of you. Oh, she used the wrong color. Or, kind of. No, not she didn't use the wrong color. What did she do? She didn't wait for you. That's what it was. It was too quick. Yeah, I thought I waited long enough, but maybe I didn't. Where's Mel when you need her? Portal Stories Mel. Huh, wow. I thought I had it too. I must be missing it something. Like, it oh, like I was supposed to go back over there. I know what I did wrong. Yep. That's what it was. Yay.